this video, I'm going to be showing you what the best software is to create a thumbnail in 2024. In front of me, I have the Microsoft Designer software. It's free, it's with Microsoft, so it's trustworthy and it's easily accessible through Google Chrome. Okay, so when you log in and stuff like that, you will be presented with this page and you will see get started with generative AI. So what you can do is you could choose from an image creator, create any image you can imagine. Just enter in a text description. So let's try it out, shall we? So these are some prompts, okay? So you can hover over it and see what people have typed in to get these results. So I said a piggy rolling around in mud on a frosty winter morning. Let's press generate and see what it comes up with. The best thing about this is you don't have a limited amount, it's all free and it doesn't take long to load at all. There we go, there we go. So here we have our piggy rolling around in mud and it does look pretty cold. If you look in the background, it looks like frost or something along here. And it looks like the sun's coming up over the trees. You can download it, you can edit it. You can literally do whatever you want. So you can go into edit and you can change the filter on it. So it could be sunshine. That looks pretty cool. Punch very in your face, you can change the intensity of it, that is really in your face, that looks really nice. Hmm. Lo-fi, so you could be blah, or you could be non, or whatever, whatever suits you best, and it even has recommended stuff here too, recommended, 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 and you can change the temperature and stuff like that in it. And then you have the choice of a generative array, which I'm not going to show you because it's pretty straightforward. You can use AI to zap objects from your photos for a clean look. You can remove the background, which again, I'm not going to show you. Pretty straightforward. Brand kit creator, again, straightforward. These three are coming soon. And you have a design creator. So what you do here is basically You type in what you want, so it could be an Instagram post, it could be a Facebook ad, it could be a YouTube thumbnail, it could be a music album cover, which is the example I'm going to use. So, Helter Skelter, use the colours light green and dark blue. Let's see what it comes up with. So on the right you can see it's thinking about what you've said and stuff like that just as it loads. You can also add images from your PC or your phone or whatever here and here you can basically, it's like prompts again, so a pumpkin as seen in an adventure time, no words. Okay, so on my right you see the Helter Skelter album cover using light green and dark blue. So you have got some blue in here, definitely. That actually looks pretty cool. You've got some dark green, well, you've got green and blue in that one. Got some greeny blue thingy here going on. That one looks pretty cool. It's an animation, that one. All right, that's sick. Didn't know that could happen. You've got this one again with the colour scheme that I've entered. That one I don't like. Light green, it's literally got the text. No. Helter Skelter album. That one I like a lot. That one and that one, my favourites. That looks pretty cool too. And so does that final one. So that is literally how you use Microsoft um, Microsoft Designer. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have friends that are YouTubers or creators, do share this video to them because if they are having any difficulties with creating images, 
then this is definitely the best thing to go to in 2024.